Hey guys, it's Sebastian from Asebi, and today we're going to be flying JetBlue's Mint class from New York to San Francisco. We just got out of the airspace lounge, and now we're walking around the terminal before we board our flight, and this is a pretty cool area. So it's a rooftop garden in Terminal 5 of JFK, and it's a pretty good way to get some fresh air before you fly. So we're getting on mints right now, and again, I don't think I've ever been getting on a plane with it so clear, so this is pretty amazing. And we're literally right here. We'll choose this when we get up in the air. You get three out of the five dishes under the wish dishes section. Cool. There's electronic device plugins, USB headset at the very bottom. Controls for your arm, excuse me, for your television. Cool. It's also a touch screen, just so you know. And of course the controls for your live flat seater right there. This is the control for the Star Trek door, which I'll unlock once we get up in the air. Great, awesome. And uh, that being said, our welcome beverage is a honey infused limeade. I can make it with fresh mint. Let's take a look at the food menu, nourishment. And the cool thing is that even though this is business class, it's pretty similar to international first class. So the seats lay down and you have doors for some of the seats. And again, the menu is pretty cool, kind of, if you can see it. So you get uh, appetizer and then you get to pick three of these items. I'm probably going to go with the lobster risotto, the pork tenderloin, and the pot pie. And you also get drinks and everything else you want. And a cookie from Milk Bar. And in the back, so some options if you want alcohol, sparkling wine, red wine, beer, liquor, coffee, tea, and all for free. And you also get this blanket and this welcome message from Bill and Jeff. Those are the two people helping us. Let's take a look at this blanket. So normally I wouldn't recommend people to use their points towards domestic first class or business class, just because typically you just get more legroom. But I've heard that this is a really good experience, so we'll see if it's worth it. And yeah, you do get a lot of legroom here. So I can't even touch the end of it, even if I stretch out as much as I can. It typically costs between $600 and $1,200 per way. So at a minimum, you'd be paying $1,200 if you want to do round trip. And at a maximum, it would be about $2,400. There are a ton of ways to do it with your points though. And we're going to cover that in a future video. And you can always fly economy one way and then do something like this on the way back. Especially if you do have a ton of points and you kind of want to reward yourself. Yeah, there's a ton of room on the left side too. So you can, I can barely touch that side if I sit at my seat. So it's basically two seats in the span of one seat. So if you do want this experience, make sure to select the right seat. On this plane, for example, there's four seats that have the suite style with the door. So there's a ton of movies available, but most of them seem pretty old, and I feel like flights typically have relatively new stuff, so this is kind of surprising. So Grease is a good example of something that's super old, Jaws. Okay, so originally I wasn't too sure, but now I'm 100% certain that when I get the bottom three, just because baby greens and the salad doesn't seem that great. Let's check out the restroom, and it is a normal looking restroom, nothing special. So this is the two-seater for mints, so if you have someone else you're sitting with, but there is no door, so something to consider. This is another one-seater of a door, and this is where we are, which is a giant mess, as you can see. And again, there's only four seats on this plane that have this setup of this door, 2A, 2F, 4A, and 4F. So if you do want to get it, you can book it. There's no additional cost compared to the two-seaters. This is probably the best dip I've ever had in my life. It's amazing. This controls the seat, so there's a button for massage. You can also turn the chair into a bed and lay it flat if you want to. This is a good spot to put your purse or maybe your laptop. There's a bottle of water back here, as well as a light if you want to do some reading. So three different settings, as well as outlets. So here's the food, on the left we have the pork, in the middle we have the lobster, and on the right we have the vegetable pot pie. 
It looks a bit more square than I thought it would look, so I wish the presentation was a bit better. But my whole thing is it's about the taste and not about how it looks. You get a piece of bread as well as olive oil. And yeah, let's dive right in. Oh, you also get a salt shaker or is this? This is a pepper shaker and then on the other side is the salt shaker. So this is actually kind of cool. I've never seen one of these before. The pork was pretty bland, so it didn't really feel flavorful enough, it just felt very dry. The sauce itself was pretty good though, so I kind of wish there was more of it. The lobster was pretty good, and there were actually a lot more lobster bits than I could see initially, so pretty solid. Vegetable pot pie was fine as well, not as much flavors as I would like. Here's the dessert, you can still see some frost on it, and it looks like it's three scoops of ice cream. Let's dive right in. Even though these three scoops look like vanilla, they're all different flavors and this is really blowing my mind. You also get a goodie bag. Let's see what's inside here. So there's a ton of stuff in here. There looks like a postcard as well as a toothbrush. And this is the bag. Let's try out the massage feature and try to get some sleep. I'm still really amazed at how well this seat is designed, so this table slides in right here. And also there is so much legroom, I can't really emphasize that enough. In case you were wondering how the seat works, there's a handy guide right here. So this is the one for two people, so everything's in the middle. And this is the one for one person, so pretty much the same idea. Mint is pretty empty and everyone is sleeping, so I am going to show you how the seat works because we're here and why not. So you have the control panel right here and all you need to do is just press the seat button to change it so there's the upright, there's the one that's relaxed, and this one is the flatbed one. So it does take a bit of time but the whole thing basically moves and yeah you get quite a bit of room and again even if you're a tall person you should be fine so it stretches out all the way through. One thing that kind of sucks though is that the seat belt gets caught underneath the seat. If you have the chance to fly mints, just remember to hold the seat belt on your way up or down from the positions. This is one of the two-seater ones, but since the price is the same for all of the mint seats, I'd recommend the single suites with the doors just because it's a more interesting experience. When you get close to landing, they give you a cookie from Momofuku Milk Bar. Looks pretty normal. This is the best cookie I've ever had in my life. Of all the food we got in mince class, this tops it all. So this is a pretty good note to end a very good trip on. We're about to land and look at that fog. So it's currently 1.30am in San Francisco and I just left New York where it's currently 4.30am and for some reason I decided to watch movies and TV and eat instead of really going to sleep. So there's that. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. But otherwise, hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time.